So I'm at work right now. In a few hours, I'll be home doing a nice video for you guys, feeding some snakes, hanging out. Might make another coffee later, but uh, I'm gonna drink this one real quick, and hopefully I catch you guys later. So I wanted to show you guys a couple of the snakes that shed today, going through the bins. This is my male pin band Leonis, looking good in his new skin. My Arizona Mountain King snake male, looking real sharp, hanging out in his water bowl. And then my female, Extreme Reverse Oka T. Tessera, looking real nice. She's starting to gain some size and you can see those nice colors coming out. Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. I just got home from work. I'm excited. I wanted to do this video. It's been a whole week since I posted a video. I've been busy. And my last video, I fed my hatchlings for the first time live on camera. You want to go check that out? Feel free. So in this video, I'm going to be feeding them for the second time. This will be my second attempt at feeding them. Hopefully it goes smoother than the first time. And I also got a couple of snakes that shed today. So I'm going to show you those and I'm also going to feed them. It's going to be a great video, so stay tuned. So we're gonna feed this baby first. This was the same baby I fed first in the last video. And this one actually ate a lot quicker than the other baby. Didn't give me as much trouble. And this is the one that did not regurgitate. So this one ate its meal, went to the bathroom and had no problems. So this is the second meal I ever offered this snake. And the oranges are starting to come out nicely on this guy. And it looks like he's playing hard to get right now. Kind of ignoring me, ignoring the pinky. And um, hopefully uh, he just goes for it. Uh, let's see what happens here. Wow. Check that out. The last time you could check out the video, we fed this one live for the first time. It took me about five to six minutes just to get it to bite. And now look, right away, attack. So since he's just a couple of weeks old, I'm not gonna sit there with the camera and watch him eat. I'm just gonna let him relax and eat that pinky. So this little one right here regurgitated two days after I fed him or her. I didn't sex them yet. And the other one, it ate, it went to the bathroom about four days later, so it fully digested its meal. This one regurgitated, so what I'm gonna do is feed it again and try and keep it a little bit warmer this time. Maybe that'll help, but I just wanted to let you guys know that it did regurgitate, and sometimes that happens with baby snakes. And um, if it regurgitates again, then we're gonna have to take some other measures. But for now, I'm just gonna feed it again, keep it a little bit warmer, and things should hopefully be okay. So this is the little one that regurgitated. And if you watched last video, this is the second one I fed. And it took me a good 10 to 15 minutes just to get this one to eat. It kept striking and striking and running but it wouldn't eat. And then finally it gave in. So let's see if there's any difference this time. Now the last baby we fed struck pretty quickly compared to last week. So if I'm lucky, hopefully uh, this one does the same. Boys, I don't wanna scare him or her. Now this one likes to do a lot of bluff strikes. So, so far, she just 
she or he keeps striking and just ignoring the pinky and it actually jumped out of the bin a couple of times already onto the floor so so far this is almost like last week so i'm speeding it up right now because uh you'll be here all day watching this just keep jumping out of the bin striking running striking running you just got to be patient sometimes So since this one doesn't want to eat, we're going to go to plan B, the deli cup method. Warm pinky on the bottom, put the snake in, cover it with a paper towel, shut the lights for about a half hour. Um, I try to feed this one for a while with no luck, so hopefully this works. So what we're going to do while we wait, that baby is going to stay in the dark room for about a half hour. Then we're going to go back up and see if the deli method worked. It's just a lot easier because this girl or boy was going crazy, kept trying to jump out. So maybe it's just a little nervous. And last week that was the one that took a while to feed as well. So that one's probably going to take a little bit longer to get going, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. And in the meantime, let's go feed these other snakes that just shed. So now let's see if this little one ate using the deli cup method. She was in there or he was in there for about a half hour and no luck, they didn't eat it. So off to plan number C, hopefully this one will eat a live pinky. I'm gonna put the live pinky in there and come back in about an hour. So we put the live pinky in there about an hour ago and I don't see it now. I don't know if it's under here or if he ate it or she ate it. You can see it's in the belly right there. So a live pinky was eaten, that's good, good news. Now this one regurgitated, so let's see if it holds this pinky down. I'm gonna keep it nice and warm and we're gonna see what happens and that'll be in the next video. I'll give you guys an update. 